For us here at Unify, the data catalog and discovery capabilities in our product line are really the tip of the spear for the business user. So I'm going to focus a lot of attention on that today and really walk a user through kind of the end experience of how they use that within our product offering. Um, so as you're seeing here on the screen, the way a user's experience really manifests itself inside Unify is they're presented with a very simple search bar. And I don't know, let's say I'm the mortgage analyst at Bank of America, and I might go into Unify and say, Unify, I'm looking for anything that has any sort of relationship or relevance to the search term loans. The user can go into our data catalog and data discovery engine, type in that search term, and we will literally search across every single enterprise data source that we are connected to with inside that organization and return any result set that has any relevance based on that search term. And I don't know, maybe as an end user at this point, I'm just looking for some particular data sets that I might want to do some search and discovery on. And so I can click on uh, uh, the data sets pillar there. I can see there's this one uh, data set called loans. Well, that's great. Um, Unify, are people using it? Oh, wow, it looks like it's had a lot of interaction from other users with inside the organization. So maybe I want to drill into it and, and introspect it a little bit further. When the user clicks on that data set, we bring a sample of rows essentially into their browser so they can have an interactive experience with the data. And here you'll see I can see the individual attributes that are part of this data set. I can see some of the higher level data types that Unify is detecting on my behalf. And I can start drilling in and actually looking at some of these attributes and looking at the statistics and profiling metrics around, around this uh, particular attribute. Maybe interest rate is going to be really important for my analysis because I want to understand, hey, when we write loans on, on behalf of our consumers, what are the typical places where an interest rate might fall? Well, looks like a lot of loans are maybe before between 4 and 6%. That's super helpful for me to understand. I can also drill into the next level of statistics where a user can get a lot of detail. Um, a user can see all the typical statistics and profiling metrics I think a, a user would expect to see around the minimum values, the max values, the standard deviation of a, a numeric or, or decimal-based column, um, literally the distinct values in, in any sort of string column. So at, at this point, I'm getting a really good sense of, hey, what is this data set? What are the attributes inside of it? And what can I expect when I actually choose to go use those attributes in any sort of analysis that I might want to do? The second piece of the experience is an end user may not always necessarily know what the meaning of an attribute is in one of these enterprise systems. So we want to make sure there's an area where, one, we can capture all of the business ontology and, and the data dictionary, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, around what these attributes mean to the business user directly. So here you can see uh, there's a whole crowdsource scoring experience, a whole commenting ability where users can go in and say, ah, yes, this looks like a really good definition, or hey, I used this attribute today, and here was kind of the insight that I was able to derive off of it. This area of our application is fully configurable. You can add as many attributes you want from a, a, a metadata management standpoint in terms of what metadata you might want to track around your, your physical data uh, to drive a customer or consumer's experience uh, uh, doing uh, self-service data. There's a number of other things that are available in our, our data catalog here. So I can also see, hey, where did Unify's crawling algorithm actually detect that data sets linked together? Um, or, hey, was there infrastructure from maybe the source systems like a Salesforce that told me that, hey, here's my opportunity object and here's how it links to my contact object. Uh, and so very quickly, a user can start going through here and saying, oh, wow, I was exploring loans, but Unify is also telling me that it relates to some customer data. So why don't I go in and start exploring my customer data? Here you'll see there's some examples here, and John uh, touched on these very nicely from a PII or sensitive data uh, detection standpoint. Um, we do have higher level data types that exist in our catalog, so we're able to define things that are more business friendly that the actual source system may not actually tell us exist. So the source system wasn't telling me this is a phone number. Unify figured that out when we were actually crawling the data in that system. And you'll see we automatically flag these as PII-based attributes, this is very helpful for the steward or governance teams that exist inside these enterprise uh, uh, class customers, where a data steward can go in and say, hey, Unify, show me everywhere I've got sensitive data, because I want to make sure that I, I put the right policies and authorizations in place so I'm not exposing the organization to any risk as I actually allow users to start working with data. So the next piece you can also see is because we are all this integrated platform where we also offer a data preparation experience, 
a user can go in here and actually see, hey, what business rules have ever been applied against this data set? Is Unify recommending anything to me that, that it found as it was actually discovering this data set? Well, we found that there were some email addresses uh, that existed in this particular data set, and we saw some of them that maybe weren't formatted correctly. So would you like Unify to try and go clean that for you, uh, end user? So a number of kind of techniques here where any business rule application that ever happens or gets recommended to an end user is presented in a very easy user experience where uh, a user can read the definition and understand exactly what that, uh, that business rule application might do. Um, you can also see things like filters that have also been applied against the data. So a very nice experience for a user to quickly search and start discovering data sets uh, in a very elegant way. There's also a secondary way that a user can interface with Unify's catalog. Because we've built a knowledge graph behind our application in this pillar of our, our stack, a user can literally just go in and start asking questions and we'll provision the answer. So again, I don't know, maybe that interest rate column is gonna be really important to me. So in a natural language way, I'm gonna ask Unify's catalog, hey, just go find me the answer to this question I'm asking. And literally we will provision the, the result set uh, where the answer is available right here to the end user. And maybe the account is interesting to me. So I wanna drill into that. And I wanna know more about interest rate and I wanna know more about this particular account and where interest rate has been used inside the application. So again, another nice elegant way of a user to kind of discover data and see how other users inside the, uh, uh, the platform have been using this data. So again, I can kind of see where this attribute has been used uh, in the past, how other users are using this data. I can see again the statistics right here if I was inclined to, to go a little level, level deeper around interest rate. I can actually see the lineage of the last process that actually produced this attribute um, called lineage right here in this interface. So again, a, a, just a very nice way for an end user to elegantly search and discover data that they might want to use from an analysis standpoint. So I hope that was helpful to understand uh, the cataloging and discovery capabilities that Unify provides. This happens against any data source. We don't care where the data is located. We don't care what the structure of the data is. We're gonna make it easily accessible essentially to every line of business user um, across any, any data source that they might run their business on. So Unify does have a bunch of other capabilities. I only kind of you know, touched at a high level on some of the, uh, the governance and security features. Um, I'm not gonna get too deep into the preparation side of the product, although we are very strong there as well. Um, and again, the value of the integrated platform uh, comes through um, as these parts of the uh, application stack are sharing metadata together.